Well, Connecticut joined a handful of states around the nation to legalize the sale of recreational marijuana. State lawmakers are talking about the possibilities at a public hearing today, and one representative is making news for a very startling admission. News aide Jason Newton live in Hartford with more on that story. Jason. Keith, it was sort of like dueling press conferences this morning here inside the legislative office building. First, there were several lawmakers who held a press conference who were in favor of legalizing marijuana for the state of Connecticut. They were followed immediately in a different room by dozens of police chiefs from across the state and many others who opposed legalizing marijuana in any form here in the state. Now, this is all happening this morning because today a bill by Republican House member Melissa Zebrin is the first of four bills that would legalize and regulate marijuana. Marijuana in some shape or form. They all have slight differences, but would basically accomplish the same goals. These goals are to remove penalties for adults to grow and possess certain amounts of marijuana, regulate it and tax it similar to alcohol in the state and keep it away from minors. And according to those in favor, this would open up a new industry to bring in millions in revenue for the state's general fund, while also creating new job opportunities. Lawmakers opposed to legalizing marijuana had the backing of many police chiefs who say they foresee nothing but problems for our state if any marijuana bills are to pass. I don't get high and go to work. I don't get high and drive. I get high when I come home and I feel like watching some TV. I do it socially with friends. It's not an escape for me. I do it the same way someone might have a drink after work or take a hike in the woods. It's reflective. In the state of Connecticut, this would do nothing to increase our quality of life. The revenue would be more, offset, more than offset by the cost to both regulate and then for us to police. Now, this is a bipartisan issue. You can find prominent Republicans and Democrats who are in favor of legalizing marijuana, and you can also find many prominent Republicans and Democrats, including Governor Malloy, who are against legalizing marijuana. So we're going to watch this public hearing today throughout the day and keep you updated. That's the very latest. Keith, back to you in the studio.